Joseph. My name is Pierce Cannon. My name is Terrell Betts. My name is Fernando Almeida. My name is Johnny Isaiah. Hi, my name is Shailene Barr, and this is my capsule project. safe driving and knowledge about drunk driving. What made me choose this capsule was my mom got into a very bad car accident and resulting of that, her best friend died. Um, my father got into an accident about a year ago and it affected me in a way that I wanted to show other people what it was about. They bring awareness on drunk driving and one of the speakers had gotten into a really bad accident and he, he chose to like work with the Choice Program to speak about it. It went very well. It was about 150 students in there. It just, it was good. I haven't talked to my father in a while, so when he called me saying that he saw that the Choices Program came to the school, he, he said it was proud of me, so that just boosted me up. I feel like I feel like a closer connection to people who got into car accidents because a lot of people who like family members got into car accidents came up to me and you know we started relating more and all that. And when prom comes around we're gonna be doing some prom promises you know making sure everybody is safe that night and we're gonna be hanging around some posters. Basically we're gonna have a meeting with juniors and seniors who are going to prom and they're gonna be signing a um, like a letter to state that they're gonna be safe while driving to prom and after prom and make sure they're not on any drugs or alcohol. My capstone is about homeless people. I didn't really know like what I wanted to do for a capstone um, at first and then like I was talking to my barber and then like, my barber wanted to help me and I was thinking about homeless people at the time and he said that he's like I'll do haircuts for the homeless for you like to get you started we did two dinners. We just recently did a dinner. Um, and it's at the homeless shelter we go, but the difference is like, instead of just feeding them what they make, like we bring our own food, like we fundraise our own money for the food. And then like we cook it all. We, we do it all in their kitchen. We feed it to them and whatever's left over, like we let them have, like that's like their blessing, my pastor says. For my capstone, I'm doing two projects. I am mentoring young girls and I am doing a safe days program here for 10th graders. Mentoring has been a blast because the girls that I mentor are really funny and they actually have personalities like mine. So it's like mentoring myself kind of when I was that like their age. So it's really fun and I enjoy it. I go to uh, my old elementary school and I tutor the kids twice a week and I just like go in and help with the class. The kids have been working on these biography projects where they pick one like famous person and do a biography on them. So. Uh, they have art class today, and I'm going to go in during art class, and we're all going to paint the uh, person from the biographies. My capstone is basically about working with homeless kids, working with homeless people. So I went through my church. Um, some people like donated toys, donated clothes, just donated money and cards and stuff so they could be able to buy stuff. And what I did was I had my grandma cook up a whole bunch of food. I also did um, like a wash and go kind of thing for the girls because there's a lot of females at that shelter. My capstone is mentor here at the middle schools. I felt like me and him have gained like a good friendship throughout of it. So I actually have a sense of care for him and his grades. My capstone consists of me uh, raising, raising money for the Connecticut Children's Medical Center. I work with the Connecticut Children's Medical Center Foundation and we're just hope doing organizational work, um, fundraising, and just trying to bring about um, my capstone is about the commemoration of Roberto Clemente. Uh, I chose this capstone because I um, I follow baseball since I was a kid, and I see it, I see him as a great player, and I idolize him not only because of who he was as a baseball player, but the person he was. We hosted the Roberto Clemente Life Commemoration event um, at SMSA. 
The event went well. Um, we had a little bit over 250 people show up. Um, the news was there. It was nice. And the thing that I, I like the most is that now I feel like I did something important. I f now I feel that I'm more capable of doing something. That's the thing that I'm more, most happy about. My capstone is raising money for the homeless in my home country, Pakistan. I was originally born in Pakistan and every time I go, it just really bothers me to see how many people are homeless and like starving. I've gone to parties and like, gotten like tips and stuff from people and so far I've collected a generous sum of money. My capstone is um, I'm just helping out uh, the second graders that stay back during enrichment with their reading and math work. My capstone is about helping people with Parkinson's overcome their symptoms through uh, physical training that includes boxing. The way it made me choose this capstone was that I've been doing boxing since I was like nine years old and uh, I really enjoy the sport of boxing and to see the sport of boxing helping others is really amazing to see. So my capstone is I volunteer at Dwight Branch Library. Um, I tutor elementary students and I also make arts and crafts with them. Um, I've been volunteering at this library for a year now. I did it during my junior year and I decided to continue it for my capstone. Most of these students were displaced here in Puerto Rico. Um, many of these children are English learners and I have learned that in their school they don't get any additional resources so I thought um, to provide the resources that they need by volunteering and um, helping with their homework. What is Capstone? The first thing that came to my mind was a community service project, but it's more than that. Capstone is a self-directed project that is meant to reflect on our personal interests. This project is meant to be a learning stretch and take us out of our comfort zones. Throughout this project, I learned a lot about myself and my peers. We all struggled in our own ways to succeed this year. Capstone brought me closer to people in ways I never imagined. There were laughs, excitement, stress, all kinds of ups and downs, but the most important part is that we all helped each other throughout the process. This project has a lot to do with time management. There isn't much room for procrastination or waiting to get on that idea you were planning to. Easily, the days you wait to do something turns into weeks and then months and all of a sudden time's up and you don't have enough to showcase. I believe everyone is able to get this project done. And it really reflects on your work ethic and passion for your project. Capsule starts to rule out the week early on, but we all have to be strong enough and determined enough to get through it. This project that we all wait to get done is the determining factor of whether we graduate or not. But this can't be the only reason we succeed. Capstone feels like a milestone in our lives. We were able to do something for the community all on our own. We reached out for resources and were able to get it done. I feel as 17 and 18 year olds, it's amazing what we can do and what change and impact we have. These projects are much more than a grade. They're a look through the real world. It's that first step behind the door we've been waiting to get through. And we've all made it. So let's celebrate.